Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and we are back today to work on more of our whimsical fairy tale canvas collage art thing. <laughs> so let's do it. Okay, I first of all, I'm going to set an alarm on my iPad so that I don't just go on forever and ever because my mother is a very trusted source and she said that the hour and 15 minute long video may be sort of drug a little bit. So <laughs> she said, but I'm not, but I'm not, um, I'm not uh, insulting you. I loved it. I watched every second of it. I'm like, well, of course you did. <laughs> but apparently that one could have been shorter. So let's, let's just put a limit on it. <clears throat> put a cap on this crazy. Um, things look different than the last time that we spoke because I tried to do shadow and light with the paint pens and discovered that I don't know how to do shadow and light where it does not look really weird. Well, that may be not completely true. Like I added a little bit of gold paint pen to kind of like these areas where like the moonlight might be shining on the frog. I like it. Okay. It's okay. I don't really like it here. I feel like the, it wouldn't be shining right here. And I just don't like his little snout gold. Um, I tried adding it to the flowers and it did not, it wasn't right. I don't know. It just didn't. I guess these, the part that we're seeing is the back of the flower. So the sun, the moonlight wouldn't be shining on the back of the flower. After I thought about it, it just didn't make sense. But does a frog on a wooden boat playing the violin in a moon nighttime sky ocean make sense? Not really. So I don't know why I'm going for the real literal uh, <laughs> interpretation. I'm not sure. <laughs> but... I, so I painted white on the flowers to kind of go over the, um, the yellow and I liked that. Um, and then I started, I was watching the, um, national championship basketball game with my husband yesterday because Iowa played, go Iowa girls. We're so proud of you. Um, and I started cutting out pieces of fabric from my fabric bin uh, into shapes that I thought would be fun to use on here in some way, shape, or form. Um, and I got kind of wrapped up, like I saw this fabric and I'm like, ooh, that's kind of pretty. Maybe I could make little leaf petals and give this flower a little bit more texture. So I did that. Um, I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it. I kind of love it actually, because it's just fun, right? Um, I stuck it down with this craft bond. I don't know if that's the right thing to use. Theme of this whole thing. So um, let's, we're gonna play with some more collage pieces that I had cut out uh, and then some of these fabric pieces. And then, sorry, I'm on a real rant here. My friend Kathy, she texted me a picture of slow stitching that she's been doing, which is like, um, kind of like hand quilting, embroidery, sort of all amalgamated maybe into one, maybe not, I don't know, that could be wrong. But it gave me the idea that I could stitch on here, like embroider, some because I've been trying to look for vines and stuff that work into how I want but I was like wouldn't it be fun in my mind I was thinking this wouldn't it be cool if I um embroidered like some vines or some stems and leaves myself on here it would add another layer of texture and be so cute right I think so that's kind of my um exciting plan it's exciting to me anyways. The question will be, can I do that on a canvas? I think if my needle is sharp enough, I will be able to. And then I thought, wouldn't it be cute if the stars were hanging from like little embroidered, 
like silver threads like I embroidered down so it looked like they were hanging there. I don't know. I thought that could be cute too. I know it's really busy, but you guys know my journaling. So we're going to go with it. Let's just stop talking. Um, I don't know if this is the right thing to use, but I'm, I'm just going to keep using it because for the fabric, because I, I started using it yesterday. So I don't know. Dee Dee Willingham made a comment on my video, you guys. And she said she uses matte medium. That's pretty cool. Um, cause I've watched her videos for a long time or, I mean, I did. And then I kind of stopped when I was journaling and she does different stuff, but, um, but yeah, she, she, um, she saw it. So that was fun. Super cool. Huh? You'll have to excuse if my head is in the frame, my hair is so dirty right now that I could, I could literally fry an egg on my head and it's going to be washed as soon as I get done here and my fingers are very sausage like and swollen because I just walked on the treadmill does that happen to anybody else whenever I walk or run my hands get so fat and sausagey and when I like squeeze my fingers together I'm like oh hey sausage fingers okay enough Emily enough 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 I had some gold fabric I thought those would make kind of fun stars possibly Okay, let's see. Yeah, that game, it was fun. I'm just placing these randomly. Um, and then we'll see. Seeing what I like here. And I also cut some more um, images from some more Daphne's diaries. Um, Addie and I went to coffee with my parents yesterday. And I was cutting out some more things while we were over there. And I also cut some some things I flipped through my antiquarian sticker book and I cut some things that I saw like this mushroom I thought was super super duper cute I don't know if I'll use them but I think my thing just fell but I thought that could be so cute like down here in the little grass somewhere or let's kind of stick it places and then we'll see Play it by ear. Um, okay, let's see. Ooh, I loved the color of this butterfly that I saw in the antiquarian sticker book because it kind of like brings in some of those blues and purples. I wanted it down by her. Ooh, I kind of love that. That's kind of cute. Kind of fills in that space right there. I saw these whales in the antiquarian sticker book and I thought oh my gosh those there could be a whale in the space ocean like that like coming up into the little boat but then when I was cutting fabric I was like maybe I could cut a whale shape out of fabric and kind of bring that peach over and then I could embroider a little eye on him like, that could be cute, huh? He's kind of just like a little more whimsical. And I like how it brings the peach over here. He, I mean, he's kind of wonky. No, don't get me wrong. But I sort of love him. <laughs> um, I sort of love him. Oh, and then I saw this in the Antiquarian sticker book. This little swan. Could she be floating on a wave? Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. You love it too, fatty? Oh, and I found these little bees. This bee is so cute. Mm, this is fabric, or this is um, collage. Bee could be sitting on it right here. No, I don't know where I like him. I don't know if he makes sense to be on the bottom of this flower here. Oh, he could be sitting on the flower right here. I accidentally cut off one of his little legs. <coughs> Maybe he could be <coughs> perched on this little flower. <coughs> what do you think? I kind of like that. That's cute. <coughs> um, oh, 
I cut out this purple butterfly that I really loved because it kind of brings up this purple. And I thought this, maybe this butterfly could be in space on the top of this flower. Like how cute is that? The butterfly's in space, but just perched on that flower. I think that's super cute, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh, I kind of love that, actually, you guys. Do you love it? Let's see. I don't know if I have my stars quite right. Oh, do we like it up higher like that? Hmm. Maybe we need a star down here. It's awfully empty. Oh, maybe that. Yep, the basketball game was fun to watch. We were very proud of Iowa, and I was very proud of their sportsmanship. I cut a little crown out of the same um, gold fabric. I thought maybe she could be wearing a little crown. Isn't that cute? I think that's sort of adorable. I had this fabric, and I thought maybe we could make a little flowers. Like I could put a little fabric flower here because I had glued down these little vines. Oh God, and I'm not even in the thing. I wasn't paying attention. Shit, already failing. <laughs> I kind of love that. I want to put another one. Maybe I could put one over here and then this is where I could embroider my own stem and leaf. And then maybe I could do more up here. Like I cut this little purple daisy shape. Let's see, not daisy, but sort of flowery shape. Maybe that one could be, I could embroider a stem coming down. Ooh, I like how it kind of fills that space and is more gardeny. I kind of love that. And then it like brings the purple from that butterfly down here. Mm, I'm sort of loving that. Okay, guys. Let's see. I'm not being called by any of these other things. I wanted a, some sort of fruit or something. But the problem is I don't know where to put the fruit. Like she has a little snack with her. But it just seems so random right there. Like, hey, there's a cherry. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense. Mm. We'll see, maybe later. Um, should we put down these things and see where we are? I think so. Okay. What should I start with? I think I'm gonna do the glue pieces first. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Kill ourselves with glue fumes here. Um, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like this. And these have like <laughs> these have strings coming off them and everything, so. And I'm thinking maybe this will just like lightly tack it down. And then I'm sure there'll be another layer of something that I put on here. I'm trying to grab them with the tweezers because yesterday my hands got really sticky. We're just going for it. I, I was proud of the Iowa girls sportsmanship when they lost. Can't really say the same about the Louisiana. They made some choices, that was for sure, that I didn't think were super classy, Angel. But I'm, I'm not into to sports, especially basketball. So I don't know if that's like what people do. Like waving their hands and pointing to their ring fingers. Like, yeah, we know you're gonna win. Don't 
be a, don't be a poo. But maybe that's just part of sports, right? <laughs> Probably. Um, I didn't watch the whole thing because I got wrapped up in my leaves and <laughs> I came up to try and glue my leaves and then I kind of love this pink whale or peach whale. Do you? <laughs> Tell me you do. Oh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cute, you guys. Oh, this is fun. I like it with this, um, this glue is an easy way to do it. I thought yesterday about using the Aileen's craft, like tacky glue that kind of works for everything. But then I didn't know if it was gonna like leave clumpy spaces on the, behind the things. And I didn't know if it was going to discolor the front side of the fabric, you know? Like if it would leave marks where you could see the clumps of, of you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I didn't know if it was gonna work. So I just decided to use this because I had this from when I made a journal cover and I covered it with fabric and it worked really well. And it says you can, great for adhering and mounting lightweight materials such as fabrics, cork, leather, metal, canvas, plastic foam, blah, 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 blah. Um, strong, water-resistant adhesive. So that's kind of cool. Um, and it, it, is, it is working. It is working very well, actually. So, I mean, I don't know how permanent it is, but I don't know if I'm going to, like, stitch over that stuff. So I'm not mad at it. Um, now should we mat medium our other collage pieces? Did I get all of the fabric? I think so. Okay, let's put this aside. Um, okay. Oh, and I think it was, what was it? Kathy that told me that she uses like pages of a magazine and like use matte mediums on them and then just flips the page when it's like sticky so I don't have to do it on my desk. You guys are geniuses. Was that Kathy? I can't remember. <sighs> Let's see. It was so relaxing to cut the scraps of fabric yesterday while uh, just like watching TV and hanging out. I loved it. I've just been enjoying this so much. I know that a lot of people, well, some people are disappointed, you know, that I'm not journaling anymore um, and this project. Um, but stick with me. Don't worry. I think I think it will be fun and we'll keep having fun. Um, and if you're sticking around to just hang out with me, I really appreciate that. Um, giving me a chance to Prove that I can be worthy in other ways. Where was this thing floating? Was she floating here? I kind of like her there. Let's see. I just like how it's kind of whimsical. Oh, I got a lot on there. That was a lot. Um, oh God, on Sundays usually, Michael cooks, um, like he prepares meals for the week and, um, for like to take to work and he usually <clears throat> cooks dinner on Sundays and stuff because you know me, like I, that's not, it's not my thing. I hate cooking <laughs> and, um, I'll do it. You know, I do it during the week, but if he's home, he's the one that's cooking. But I was, happened to be in the kitchen yesterday while he was cutting up chicken to make pulled chicken sandwiches. I hope this doesn't look weird over our paint, like dry weird. We'll see. Hopefully it'll dry clear. Oh, could we be making an epic mistake? I don't know, guys. We'll see. Might be a different texture over that, but I guess in the end, maybe I'll cover it with some sort of, I think, 
I think she's, I think, what did, um, Dee Dee said she puts varnish, like a layer of varnish or something on it. Anyways, I happened to be in the kitchen while Michael was preparing chicken. Oh, bad idea. I have, okay. Me and chicken have a very fraught relationship. I, I just get very nervous that it's not cooked enough. And I tend to cook the living hell out of it. And then, but mostly the cleanup of the chicken is, is very, it's a sensitive subject for me. Michael, uh, he knows a lot about pretty much everything. I pride myself on knowing very little about nothing. <laughs> so, you know, he likes to tell me if he sees me doing something that he thinks could be done a different way, like, especially kitchen knife usage. Like, you're not using the right knife to cut that. You could, you should be using this knife. And I don't care. Like, that's what marriage is. You've been married for long enough. You just, like, nod and smile and be like, oh, thanks for the tip. Like, get out of town. But I don't care. Like, it's not worth <laughs> fighting over. <laughs> so I just let him give me my tips that he thinks he's offering. Um, And I I just don't, I don't care. Like, he, that's, you, you do you, babe. Um, but yesterday, I saw him cooking the chicken. Where do I want this? He cut the chicken up on the cutting board. The raw chicken, right? We're already in territory that makes me uncomfortable, raw chicken. And then he rinsed the cutting board. He washed the cutting board off in the sink and used the washcloth. Now, A, I hate washcloths. I have a thing about washcloths. I feel... They are very disgusting and dirty. Even when they're brand new, I can't handle it. He used the washcloth to clean the cutting board with soap and hot water. Okay, so that's clean. And then he rinsed the washcloth out. Then he took that washcloth and wiped the wood cutting board in the counter. And I, I gasped. Oh, I was trying to ignore what was happening because I was at the stove cooking my chicken for salads that I was going to have this week trying to ignore the other chicken news that was happening behind me, letting him do him. We, I cook chicken very differently than he cooks chicken. And oh, I was like, oh, and he's like, what? I was like, what? Oh, <clears throat> nothing. Are, are you, are you using that washcloth to wipe the, <clears throat> wipe the counter? Because that you just washed Wash off raw chicken with that. And now, <clears throat> never mind. He's like, well, it has soap on it. I'm like, <clears throat> the soap is not what's killing the, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going, I'm going now. <laughs> He's like, so is this not right? Do you think that this is not right? He's like, <clears throat> because it's funny if, <laughs> if he gets a critique, then it does not just get like overlooked. Like I, you know, because he's, you know, knows everything about everything. So he's like, well, I, this is the way that I've always cooked chicken. We've never gotten sick. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. It's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You cook the chicken. Oh, and then he went into his office and I was like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh God. I had to get out a Lysol wipe and wipe the counter and the cutting board. I don't even care if we are eating Lysol now. So I just, it reminded me that I need to stay out of the kitchen while Michael is in there because he will do things the way that he does them and I will do things a different way. <laughs> and I mean, we don't fight about it, but if you're married, you know, if you're married, this conversation, or you have a long time partner, this, this conversation is, you recognize this dynamic being mansplained things. And typically Michael doesn't mansplain me. Like he has more faith in me than that. But when it comes to the kitchen and cooking, he can, he can be a mansplainer. And, um, I'm not a fan of that in general, but, uh, but yeah, the chicken, I, oh, so 
I don't know. I was like, it's a, uh, yep, you're good. You're good. And I, oh, I just had to walk away. <laughs> this is, is, do you have a dynamic like that in your marriage, your relationship about anything? I can't think of anything else that is like that besides cooking things. Because I feel like he thinks it's like kind of his domain because he knows I don't like to do it. So who am I to offer critiques when, you know, he does it all the time? I guess nobody, right? But that doesn't seem right. Tell me how you, is it this, okay, question. Is it the soap that kills the chicken germs? I'm almost 100% positive it's not. It's the hot, hot water, right? I don't know. <sighs> problems. I was having mental problems with that whole situation. <laughs> okay, I'm putting matte medium over the fabric. You're just watching me go wild here, and it doesn't seem to be hurting anything, so maybe it's helping glue it down? I don't know. It didn't seem like it was tacked down good enough. This could be ruining things. I don't know. So do you have conversations like that? I feel like in, in relationships, long-term relationships, there's just things that you just have to like accept and, and go with and realize that it's just not worth like, you, you just, you just keep going. You just keep going. Like, like when I clean, I always peel like a pile of Michael's unused daily contact lenses off of his alarm clock because that's where he sticks them before he goes to sleep. Like so gross, right? Just throw your daily contact lenses in, in the garbage. But he takes them off right before he goes to sleep and he just sticks them on his alarm clock in a pile, a crusty pile of eye goop old contact lenses. So that's fun. But do I say, hey babe, just throw, just throw this away. You know, like, you know, before you go to bed, maybe just pop them in the trash can. No, I'm just, I just pick them up. I just pick them up when I clean and life goes on. But I feel like men can't do that. Men can't like just, just do something and then like life goes on. Like they have to like comment about it. Like, like, oh, hey, I, I shut the cabinet door because you just left it open. Thanks. Thanks for the update. <sighs> like, he doesn't do that, but that's the kind of thing I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, we have a wonderful marriage. I'm just, I'm voicing, it's it's the chicken concern is, is my main. Tell me, tell me how you disinfect after cooking chicken. I'm way too sensitive about this subject because it really grosses me out. And chicken in general kind of really grosses me out unless I cook it the way that I like it, which is very, very done, very done. That chicken is not clucking and, um, like almost burnt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I kind of love this, you guys. Oh my God. It's so cute. Now I feel like I want to try the embroidery type thing. Maybe I should draw in with pencil some vines or some leaves and that would tell us maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing now, but this is so cute. Do you guys like it? Mm, I kind of love it. What else could we do? I feel like, you know how you make splatter stars by going like this? like. If we added a few more like little splatter stars, but then I don't know what would stop that from coming down here. And maybe I just like it crisp like this. I would kind of love some more vines and flowers around her. But I'm thinking maybe that's where we could stitch them in. Maybe I'm on the wrong track with this whole stitching thing. I'm not sure because we haven't tried it yet, right? Let me rinse this brush off and see where we are with our timer. How long have I been gabbing at you about chicken? Ooh, my mom also said it's hard to hear me in my videos. It's because when I do voice, oh, sorry. Whoa, getting crazy. When I do voiceovers, I have my 
I have an external microphone that plugs into my USB. And when I'm just talking like this, it's just my phone speaker. So it's really hard. She said, I have to have it all the way up to hear you. Can you guys hear me? Do I need to do something different? Nose blow break, brush washing break, monster break, oops, glad that didn't go on the canvas. <laughs> um, okay guys, let's see. I was wondering maybe if I wanted to try and do the little strings down from the heavens and see if I even like that. Um, if I even think that's cute. I don't know if I have a white pen that will work. I don't think it just a gel pen is going to go over this. A jelly roll. No, that's just making weird. These are all so old, you guys. This is when I first started trying mixed media stuff. I bought these. No, that's not doing anything. Um... So, let's see. Hmm. What shall our next step be? Oh, I wanted to touch up my frog. Get the stuff off of him. That. So he doesn't look yellow. I wanted to see if I could, even. Oh, shoot. That was a lot of green. That was a lot of green, Emily. Oops. Clean the house yesterday, and the kids helped, and Michael helped. He always helps. The kids helping was the big, the big thing. <laughs> that was the newsworthy event. We really need to make them do more. Hmm. Do I like that? What kind is covering up the yellow? Blending it in. And then I need like a little skin tone color maybe. Well, that kind of blended it in, huh? A little bit. I feel like his hand doesn't look very green. Don't ask me what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oops, nope. I want him to still look kind of stitched. Oh, I tried to do a little bit of silver behind her and I don't like that. So I wanted to clean that up, I think. So, well, maybe I do, I don't know. What do you think? The question is, do I do some gold on these side of the things where this light might be shining or do I just stop with the light? <laughs> Quit while you're behind, Emily. Quit. Oh, dear. 
who even knows this whale is so cute I kind of love that idea that little addition because then you really get the sense that it's a little pocket of ocean or water or something there um I want to fix this I don't like the navy on him there but I don't know if I have the right color Ooh, that might be right oh that needs to be shaken Why'd you guys do this weekend? Ours was not eventful, which is just the way that I like it. <laughs> I am such a dull person. And I am so okay with that. Ooh, that's kind of the perfect color. It's actually kind of the perfect color for his like little body here to go over that yellow. blending with my finger tools. It doesn't look like crisp. Let me see. Yesterday, <laughs> Addie told me, because on her iPad they have all these like text groups I didn't know that you could text without having a phone. I'm such an idiot. But so she can like text her friends that have Apple products or whatever, iPads or phones or, and um, she said the news yesterday was that um, apparently, apparently some girl in her class and then there's this boy in her class and apparently they like each other and we gave her a squishmallow it's big news but she said that the squishmallow looked dirty to her and so she would have been like mm, I don't think so thanks so <laughs> why is that so addy I, I feel like that's so addy uh, is that squishmallow used is that dirty <laughs> I don't think so. It made me chuckle. Let's see. Okay, I like that a little bit more. And then I need to get the... There's some gray to kind of take off that. Don't ask me why I'm obsessed with making this not be there, but... Whatever. Hmm. What else can I tell you? Oh, I had a dream last night. <laughs> oh, that's too oily. I didn't shake it up enough. I had a dream last night that I... Okay, I can use this. That I went in for a colonoscopy, which is based in reality because I do have to go in for a colonoscopy <laughs> next week, I think. Um, because they just wanted to make sure a change in bowel habits and they just want to make sure everything's okay. They do not think anything's wrong, but they just wanted to make sure. And um, <laughs> so that worked good. So in my dream, I went to the digestive place <laughs> and I was like, I got there and they gave me Versed <laughs> because it's like a conscious sedation type procedure. And so I remember thinking, wow, I feel, I feel super loopy. <laughs> I feel crazy. But then I remember thinking in my dream, oh God, I didn't do the bowel prep. I didn't do what they asked me to do. I'm in big trouble. And so I remember telling the nurse, oh my God, I'm so sorry, but I, I forgot to do the prep. I forgot to drink the stuff and where you poop your guts out and so that your bowels are empty so they can see them. 
and she was like so annoyed with me which obviously that would be annoying when you're there to get a colonoscopy and you didn't do the prep <laughs> but oh no oh yeah I mixed a different color in here so that's not gonna work um maybe no one can see that but me that little gold or silver there so I remember she was so annoyed with me and then the doctor came in and she was like this girl didn't do the bowel prep so we can't do the colonoscopy but she's already here and I already gave her the medicine and he was like okay well you're a nurse right and I was like yeah and he's like well you can just help us with other procedures then <laughs> I'm fucking high right now. <laughs> I, I don't work here. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm on drugs. No, I can't, I can't help you with another colonoscopy. <laughs> but then I felt so bad that I was like, I guess. <laughs> but it was so weird because I remember feeling really weird in my dream. Like, a, like I had been given Versed. <laughs> It was just odd. It was very odd. I gotta wash these off. session I'm not gonna do too much more I'm gonna see if I like the little hanging things um, and then if I do like how that looks then maybe we, we would go ahead and stitch them if not see I know I can just paint over that with navy and it would go away but if I start stitching like down here um, that's that's gonna be kind of permanent because once you've poked holes in it and stuff I think that's kind of where you're at, right? Let's see. I wish I had... I wonder if this sparkly pen would do the antenna. I had to cut the antenna off of my little butterfly. Oh, that's kind of cute. Because it was just too... Um... Does that work? It was too, um, too delicate for me to, that's kind of cool. These dual metallic pens. Let's see. Um, maybe I'll let you go on this one and I'm going to brainstorm. Do I have... Maybe I could use the end because I don't have a paint marker, but I have white paint and I have the tips of these pens that are kind of the, the replacement Arteza tips. Maybe I could dip this in white paint and use it as a paint pen to draw, draw that on, do you think? And we'll see if we like it and then I'll let you guys go. I got a shower big time big time okay oh I'm nervous this could be a flop this could be a flop Tina Marie did that work oh no So tracing back over it doesn't work very well. Hmm. Let's see. Let's add another one and see. You can always get rid of it, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, it might be kind of cute with it not like it's. They kind of fade away, you know what I mean? Mm, 
Those are too thick. They need to be like thinner. Maybe. Or maybe they just need to not exist at all. <laughs> that could be it too. Bedtime is killing me lately, you guys. God. With older kids, it'd be like easier. I mean, in some ways it is. But just getting them to do what I want them to do. Like brush your teeth, plug in stuff, get pajamas on. Like, oh, like I just, it's like herding snails with ADD. Like how can something move so slowly yet get like so distracted? Like how can you do nothing but, but do everything else. <laughs> I don't know. I know that doesn't make sense, but God, it makes sense to me. It's like, I have to like physically walk them through the steps. Now brush your teeth. Now go into the bathroom. Now do this. Now please keep going. <laughs> uh if you just give them a list of things to do, it's like, we'll be downstairs watching TV and we'll come up to tuck them in. And like, they'll still be just sitting on Henry's bed, chatting away, like nothing's done. <laughs> or they like did one thing and then they just got distracted and <laughs> started doing their own thing again. Oh, you guys me nuts and I don't know about you but like my my parenting takes a deep dive at like 8 p.m my patience is like gone it's non-existent it, it doesn't exist anymore you, you better like start listening because I'm on a very thin thread so I've started telling them look at the clock you see what time it is? I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So you're pushing me. You're pushing me and I have no reserves right now. And they're like, oh, she's done. And I love that they love to hang out in the evenings and have like chat and stuff. Like that's their time to kind of like, when they're supposed to be up in their rooms reading, we know that they go in and hang out in each other's rooms and stuff like that. And we kind of, we love that. Like, they do need to do their reading, but before that. But when they don't listen, and I'm like, go do the other things now. It really, really gets on my nerves, and I just have no patience left, and I just want to go to bed. But before I can go to bed, I gotta get Fatty a shot and I gotta lock up Fatty in the laundry room and I gotta do everything else. Do I love that? No, I don't. I don't love that. So we're gonna paint over it. We're gonna get rid of it. Sorry guys, this must be painful for you. We're gonna try and wipe it off. And paint over it. I like the other idea better, the where we might have uh, stitched something. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if this is going to be blended in. I need the darker colors again, I think. Does your um, parenting have an, uh, like an expiration? Mine's like 8, 8.30. Um, I'm done skis, like mom is not down to clown anymore. It like immediately turns off and I'm the wicked witch of the West. <laughs> like I've, I've tried and I, we, we were having fun and it, it just immediately is done. We're done now. We're done with fun. <laughs> Maybe those are gonna end up looking like galaxies <laughs> because the color is different. We'll see. I'm gonna have to 
figure out God, that white is tenacious, isn't it? Does not want to be covered. Lesson learned. And I'm also not in the frame. Maybe we just need to add some more swirls other places to, to make this look intentional. Van Gogh-esque. <laughs> Thank you guys for correcting me. Um, because of Obby, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh no, it's the timer. That means that we're done. Okay. So good timing, I guess. We're gonna see how this all dries, but I love the addition of the fabric. I think it's super cute. And I'm gonna investigate how and if I can do some embroidery through the canvas and add some things. And we'll do that together. And then I think maybe we'll be done. I don't know. Maybe we'll paint the edges so that it looks a little finished. And I feel like this needs something. More, like, well, we're going to do the vines. But then maybe like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. If you have ideas, please shoot them at me. Don't shoot me. Shoot ideas at me. And, um... Send me all the love and good tidings, and uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday, and I will come back and see you again soon. Bye!